Hi guys, my name's Dry Breeze. I sometimes go by the name of Sifo as well. I just want to show you the ship that I'm working on at the moment. I've seen some pictures of it already in my forum thread. This is it. 103 CCV Messis. It's an engineering vehicle. Engineering vessel. It's inspired by a few sources. It's not entirely my own design. I should probably put that out there now. So, it's based around the fact that it can shuttle anything from small vehicles or vessels through to cargo pods to a build site. It's going to be a support for Port Vandermeer, the build that I'm doing for the station. On the front we've got some radar, antennas of some sort, all the racks that you see there above the pods, they're going to open and close with docking system down the bottom and I'll produce little pods for them as well so that you can load and unload really large cargo containers or as I said vessels or whatever. At the back we've got a loading dock and on top is the con the con tower and some living quarters and a few small hangars and so on. At the back I've got some cranes and gantries and that sort of stuff those cranes actually work. I'm going to move back and forth on some rails and that entire area is essentially a small dock. The engines are on the wings here and so far the only engine blocks that I've got at all are actually contained in there and it still performs fairly well. It's not designed to be a super fast vessel. And it goes okay. It's not it's not overly heavy. I don't have the specs on me right now, but I'll post all that when I release it. <clears throat> it's got fairly good shields. In the back here, there's some small cargo areas. I'd like to have a little elevator in there that lifts up and down between the two areas. I'll go in and show you the hangar bay in a minute. All illuminated. Asymmetrical con tower. This side's not quite finished, it needs a few details to bring the con tower down to the main hull just in here. That's where the core is, just up in there. And there's a raised camera at the top. I've also got some cameras located on the underside of the motor the engines and also on the outside of the engines along with a block a display block which shows a holographic image over the side of it which shows what camera it is makes it a little easier I'm still amazed they haven't developed camera labels antennas down there a few little hangar structures in here not only is there the main hangar blast doors that will open and close. The front ones don't yet open and close but they will. The back ones do. I'll show you them in a minute. I've just got to make these, back, these front ones follow the same design. This hanger in here is only a force field. It's just a little personal personnel I should say area. Oh sorry I did put a small blast door in there. It's just a plex door. The bigger ones are actual rail blast doors and of course a little side area down in here which will lead to crew areas and engineering areas and stuff like that so there's like a little sheltered zone this is where the con tower will have a control area you think about having a little holographic representation of the overall ship here that illuminates when you're operating different bays and so on, the cores there. So yeah, this, this area still needs a little bit of work, but that won't take me long. <laughs> most, of the, most of the work's gone to the other areas. 
So yeah, blast doors. These took the last two days to figure out. These are my first ever doors. In fact, this is my first ever ship for a long time. But these are my first ever doors. So we've got a shield. I haven't yet hooked that up to any switches. We've all seen shields. Don't need to show you that too much detail. But the blast doors. Pretty heavy, chunky looking things. They're all sealed in into the cavity when they're open. Try to make it a little as, as realistic as I possibly could. Teeth that interlock and a magnetic seal once it's closed. Keep the goody goody air in and the baddie baddie pirates out. Locked. I'll have a timer set up so that on the inside of it that shield will come down once those blast doors are open. And the shield will go back up again. There'll be a bit of a timer while it goes up and then the doors will open. So there'll be a, bit, a little bit of delay logic in there. Hanger on the inside few little details, I'll show them later on, nothing worth showing right now, there's a gangway at the top, which I've probably sealed it off from the outside so you can't see, I oh, know you can still see a little bit of it, in here there's a, a gangway which has a look at the top of the, it's like a maintenance shaft for the shield, the magnetic ring around the shield. There's only a few blocks up there, but it sort of gives the impression that there's an overall, an overall mechanism behind it all. These cranes actually work. They actually operate. You can climb in them and move around. They're a smaller version, maybe on a base or in Port Vandermeer or whatever, I'll have a larger version that will actually have, you know, docking mechanisms and rails and stuff that actually grabs containers and move them around. Observation deck. Haven't wired that into anything yet. There'll be like, you know, access to crew quarters and whatever else back through there. Bit of a factory. Stray build block that I haven't deleted yet. Sorry about that. Bit of a control area. I would have had a factory in this if it was possible to do, but I can't do that, of course, on anything other than a station. And these would have been little, little micro factories here and here that would have pumped out material. That's okay. They're placeholders there. I want to put a hinge mechanism and have a elevator that goes up and down on a hinge, so it sort of sort of rolls back and forth, give an impression of something big. And the scary open to space gang walk over here. We can go from the front to the back of the ship. That would be one of the scariest walks of your life, I imagine. Looking straight down. So, yeah, this is Messus so far. It's not too far off being done, maybe a couple of days at most, I suppose. Because I really want to go into a lot of detail. You can see that I've put a lot more detail into, into these rails at the back than I have at the front. So I'll copy that across. I'm trying to, trying to add a lot of panelling detail as well, like this sort of stuff here, where it looks like There's actual stuff going on, it's not just big areas of blank, but there's, you know, a purpose behind everything. Things happening behind the scenes. Which kind of adds to the realism and the fun of it all. I've got to cover all those shields up, of course, and seal a few areas as well, but that's no big deal. So, yeah. That's Messus, guys. Let me know what you think. Leave a like if you like it. 
CFO out.